Hello there! From behind the yellow line, this is Tram in episode 210. My name is Kirk, and as always, and I'm joined by my friend, and oh, he just marked his territory, Christian Rainwater. What's up, everybody? Our big third topic of the week is Tomorrowland's territories. Roll the Kugel Ball. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard Tramon, a Disneyland podcast. Please lower your head and watch your step while boarding. As a courtesy to other passengers, we ask that there be no eating, drinking, or smoking on board. In just a few moments, we will begin our trip into the Disneyland Resort News and Topic of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, this tram is ready to depart. Driver, you are clear. Welcome back to Tram and everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're your hosts. Kirkin Rain. What's up, Rain? A lot's been up, man. Yeah. A lot's been up. Did you ever watch that Porter Robinson video I sent you? No. You man. have not. Okay. I, I, oh, I, and I made you do something for me yes. to watch it, and I did not watch it. You need to watch it because that's become my full personality now. Ah. It's like, a, it's like a 2010 pop rock song. Interesting. Which is, yeah. Anyways, yeah. And I have like a personal ties now with the guy. So. We'll uh, talk about that when it comes out. But, anyways, all right, yeah, let's uh, rain. Let's do we? What do you do? Do you clean? No, let's let's take care of our territory with mousekeeping. If this is your first time here, welcome on board Tramon, a Disneyland podcast, where Kirk and I talk about the Disneyland Resort through and only through our eyes. Listen to full episodes every Wednesday or topic only uploads on Big Thunder Thursdays. If you enjoy the show, like, subscribe, comment, and review us wherever you can, including Spotify, Apple Podcast, <laughs> Podcast, and of course, my favorite YouTubes for a visual guy of the show. Follow at Tramon Podcast on Instagram and right into the show, head to Tramon.com slash ask. While you're on Tramon.com, catch up on lore, check out our recommendations, or download some artwork for your personal use. If you want to chat with us on Discord, just ask us how. And you can find all these things on lore on Tramon.com. Yes, you can. Rain, you hear that in the distance? What's that? The bells of a wedding. Dude, a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff was happening this let's, week. Let's do a little, 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 little. On that, on that note, it's a. Uh, I'm calling this the series finale of Kirk builds an alcohol tolerance because I'm <laughs> just I don't like it. Just, you I'm just not going to build an alcohol tolerance. Uh, it's that's okay. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Okay. Let's, uh, let me know when it hits, uh, two hundo. All that's, right. There you go. All right. Let's go. Is, are those grams? There are, right? They are. Milliliters right? are the same as grams in water. In water. Okay. And things that are very similar in weight to water. Yeah. Like yeah. if this was milk, probably the same though. Yeah. Mm. I see. Mm. I see. Wait, mm. wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. Like okay. pudding? No. <laughs> right, right, right. But gelatinous. Yeah. Okay. Uh rain to uh to planning. To, to yeah, to planning and the uh, and what you will let everyone know soon. Oh yeah. yeah. Cheers. Um yeah, a lot of stuff has happened this week. Hold on, hold on. This is the three ten blonde ale. We are Santa Monica's first and only craft brewery. We brew California inspired beers for those who live the beach brewed lifestyle. A refreshing blonde ale balances a subtle malt sweetness with a touch of hops for a clean, crisp finish. Rain, is that accurate? That is very good. That is a beer. That is, is a blonde very, ale. That is a good, yeah. a good blonde. All right. Solid 4.8 alcohol by volume. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so sorry. On Saturday, we went to a party uh, to Brandy's cousin, Bella. Had her 21st birthday party in San Pedro. And when we were there, we, we got there early like we do at every party we ever go to. And uh, Really? And just straight up. We're there, always the first people. But are you early or we're either there on time or half an hour late and it still means we're the first people. Mexicans. Yeah, right. I just had to straight up ask you when I should show up to your. Yeah. And I was like half an hour late. <laughs> and uh, so we were there and we were just listening to the DJ, you know, having a good time up there, playing whatever he wanted because nobody was there. And he started playing The Strokes, Crystal Castles, some like obscure songs that I would have never guessed a DJ would ever play. Excuse me, sir. Did you go to high school in the late 2000s? Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, so we booked him as our DJ for the wedding. Whoa. Yeah. 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 We got his information from Brandy's Aunt Viv. She sent me his Instagram. I messaged him and 
I said, look, man, you played Crystal Castles? You got my heart. So uh, are you free this day? And he said, yep, we're booked. So Sweet. got that. Got the photo booth. I was at that party too. Because why not? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm designing my photo booth page thing, like the, the sheets. I could design it or she can design it. I was like, oh, I'll take Pop a hot spot there because they never have the Wi-Fi thing. Every yeah. time I go to a photo booth, they're like, email yeah. it to yourself. Never happens. They just print them. Mm, mm. And I think it's because like the venues are like, what Wi-Fi? I've, I've never even been asked if we want the email version. They send us an email after the fact with all of them. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Oh, maybe. But we also, we're getting like a little book where you slide in a copy of each one and you write in it like a yearbook. So yeah, did that and we booked our honeymoon. Right. I'll, I'll just read it here. It was in your right. Did you see it? Mm-mm. Anna K wrote in, don't be dumb. Go on the honeymoon. I swear to God. That's why I did it. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Go on the honeymoon. I saw that's that. something Jeff would say too. Yeah. But thank you, Anna. Thank you. I saw that. And I also, once you again. didn't see that. I did with that. Yeah, I saw it in the the preview. Oh, the you message. did. I thought yeah. you said before you saw it. No, 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 no. I saw this. Okay. Uh, and then I also kept thinking, dude, you you live in my head, my head sometimes too much, because <laughs> for it's the honey- real estate <laughs> for the honeymoon, you kept saying like the new chapter, you got to start that new chapter, and I'm like, you're so right, you're so right. So we leave. Uh, don't we, like the day after. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I guess you're just telling people where you're going and everything. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, uh, we leave the day after, so uh, but we're go- we're going to Cancun. Something simple. No Alaska. No, no, no. We need the relaxation. Sit on the beach and exactly. Sip. It's and pina coladas. Dude. It's gonna be um, what's it all inclusive? But like an actually good all inclusive, not like we're getting the you. little ball falls in the alcohol pouring. Yeah, no, too quickly. No, no, no. This is like a pretty high end. Like for Mexico, it was really expensive. Like stupid expensive. And I was like, I don't want to pay that going to Mexico. And then I saw a bunch of reviews on it and everyone said it's the best vacation. You got to teach them how to make an open ocean. Mm. Like th- the ratio doesn't matter. The ingredients. Do. Mm-hmm. I tell them, hey, will. do your best with these things. Throw yeah. it in the blender. Yeah. So, yeah, we did that. Dude, does the blender, the blender sound is mm-hmm. like one of the most annoying sounds in the world, right? Mm-hmm. But when you hear the blender at the pool bar, you're like, oh, good time. Mm. Pina colada's coming. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it looks like we've almost finalized everything for our bachelor. Yeah, so it it is decided. Yeah. We're doing uh, Epcot. Yeah. Only. Pretty much. You have purchased the tickets. Yeah. It is on the Apple Watch. I'm just giving everyone all my cards. <laughs> um, oh, wait, it's way at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Epcot. Yeah. Because you could change the little thing. Yeah, so we're doing oh, Epcot. And- Work here too. Yeah, look, it's like a animated three D. Oh, parallax. that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, and my bond is right underneath. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing Epcot, uh, and then a pub crawl the day after. So yeah, this whole Kirk Bell's song. I'm gonna drink like three drinks, dude. I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. So, but I purposely did not write that in the chat because one, everyone's gonna try to peer pressure me, and it's not gonna work. Yeah. And two, they're gonna think I'm saying that to convince us not to do that. So instead, I wrote. I'm honestly, right, what did I think? Low key want to see all the hotels because when I go with Kimmy, I'm sure she's going to want to explore. Yeah. And I will too, but I'm not going to want to like waste my time doing that 100%, on the trip. 100%. But if we're doing this with a purpose and we're all just chilling anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe like in hindsight now, it's not really hindsight. We haven't gone. I'm kind of like, did we really want to like do t- just straight two theme park days with like six of us? <laughs> see, like, that's the thing. I was like, and. Epcot to me is what I wanted my bachelor party to be. Animal Kingdom was not really. Yeah, that's just like, ah, we could just go. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so yeah, we're doing Epcot, doing the pub crawl. I got reservations for Raglan Road the day we land. Perfect. And we can boat into Disney Springs. So I think two hours after we land should be good enough. Eh. It's questionable, but their they're openings, they have openings all night. So we should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we already, yeah, you like purchased them there. It's in my phone. Yeah. Uh, Genie Plus is that you can buy it at midnight. Mm-hmm. The day of. Uh, and that way at seven, you can book the first one. Yeah. Because you don't have to be in the park to book it. You don't. You don't. Yeah. And they're all on your phone already. Mm-hmm. I thought today's was $32. The Genie Plus. Like specifically if I bought it for oh, today. Okay. So, and, but I, that might be a uh, spring break spike. 
I don't know. Um, but with that, we'll probably be doing that pre Epcot episode on the seventh, right? It'll air on the seventh. It'll yes. air on the, the planning on the eighth. It'll air on the eighth. I got oh, the, the right, right, because we're, we're the topic airs and we're like already in the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 really excited. I, I cannot wait. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. I'll probably just like you got to get that car. Yeah, which like, I'm, I'll, I'll probably I'll just go to your room, and then when we come back from Raglan Road, then go. We're not gonna be out like the middle of the night. Yeah, and I'll just head to my hotel, and then I'll meet you guys at Epcot the next morning. Yeah. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. How do I, because as of right now, there's one king bed, two queen beds, and a pullout couch. Pullout couch, yeah, but it's a queen. And there's five of you. And there's five of us. Yeah, I thought you could do the roll away. We can. But. But who gets what? Like, how, I need to figure out a way for, for that's fair to decide this. Straws? Flipping a coin? You know what I mean? Okay. Well, you said. I I, I, th- I think the. You b- know who's sharing the king? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just think Gabriel. We just, just Gabriel and We're so- saying, we've said everything else. I think Gabriel and Souls can share the king. Okay. Okay. Kit for, yeah. Fit for some kings. Yeah. Uh, You're getting a, your own bed. I'll get my own queen. Did Ricardo buy your plane ticket? He did. I think I give him the. That's okay. That's, okay. I think that's fair, right? Yeah. And give Frank the couch. Yeah. He's used to sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know, but it yeah. uh, sounds right. Yeah. So, okay. I think that I think that's good. Yeah. I think that's good. And that, it's not that, like, a, oh, whoever paid more. It's like, bro, you buy your plane ticket, man. It was, it was a lot of money. Man. You buy your plane ticket. So, yeah. you know, that's like his gift to you. Let him have a bed. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm assuming that Gabriel and Sosa are okay with sharing a bed. But I feel like they, they have this whole story about when they went to Japan. And they were like 14. Mm-hmm. That it was a complete. They went to the hot springs, mm-hmm. and they're like, after that day, when you just see each other completely naked, there's 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 no shame in each other. You know it all. You guys can't see my face, but this was the didn't need to know any of this. <laughs> and I'm glad I got my room because I'm not seeing anyone naked. Nope. No, you're not. No, I'm good. No, you're not. In my Weston, honestly, I think it was like. You know, you see the final price and you're like, ah, like I, why am I upgrading all these things? Right. Yeah. But then I'm like, i will be living good. Yeah. Like you get the higher floor or whatever. It's worth it. It's worth the extra, like maybe 200 bucks. I saw on the way here, a couple of videos about old Key West mm-hmm. and everyone is like, you're, you'd be an idiot to buy this hotel. Good. It's a great okay. hotel. It's great. Villas. The, all the rooms are great, but it's not worth what Disney's charging for it. Because oh, no, I, I couldn't believe it. It was yeah. 600 a night or something. So the... I'm paying three something maybe? The two bedroom that I have is 750 a night. That's crazy. Yeah. Because the single is worth almost that much. Exactly. Yeah. The three bedroom, 1550 a night. There it is. Yeah. So, but it, they do that so non-DVC people don't uh, really stay there. Yeah. That's the thing. It's uh, the original DVC hotel. Huh. I didn't know that. The first DVC old, only. Old Key West indeed. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys aren't going to get old Key West matching magic bands? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> That's tempting. It's real tempting. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped. We're pretty much done, dude, with everything for the wedding. Wow. Yeah. I just, we got to get suits. That's pretty much it. What, did you ask? What? Gray? To Brandy? Yeah. No, I haven't. No. I haven't talked about it at all. I just completely forgot. Not gonna lie. So, you know what? We need to find a good picture and just send it to her and say, "Wedding." <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. I told Kimmy gray suits, and she's like, "Gray suits," and I'm like, "It's not what you think." And I showed her the picture we looked at. She mm-hmm. goes, "Ah, that's nice." So I think what we have to do well, no vests, you know. Like, what I got to do is go to Fire Tux and get myself in all these suits and literally put myself on a mood board and be like, "Which do I like the most?" You gotta, you gotta do. The black suit with the bow tie, because that's what yeah. she wanted initially. I don't think that's going to work, dude. You don't think so? In the summer, outside, black suit, bow tie? Yeah. Mm. Like, you could do black suit, no, th- no tie. Mm-hmm. Black suit, black tie. Try the bow tie, just because, yeah. what, they're going to change the tie, right? And then try try the gray. I'll try it. I'm, I'm going to try the khaki, too. I'm going to try it. Maybe I have, like, an epiphany when I'm wearing them. Like, this is the best thing ever. 
the drone strike suit, dude. I don't know. Well, if you if you get the khaki, then I will just rent it from wherever you did because I'm yeah. not buying a khaki suit. Yeah, I don't I don't expect anyone to buy it. And it honestly is better for me because I get my suit for free. If six no, five people rent suits, you get the the groom gets it for free. It's $150 maybe, dude. Hey, it's 150 bucks. The shoes though. The shoes, yeah. They give you the the, the nah, you backs, know, dude. You know, like the really shiny shoes. I'll be buying uh I'll be buying some new Cole Hans for the wedding. Mm. And then just have them as my like good shoes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, Cause the the white soles are cool these days. I don't mm. know what's up with a uh, partially white sole. Never seen it. White, you know, like Vans, like white. Oh, the sole. oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in a dress shoe? There I wouldn't wear with a black suit. Okay. But like khaki with the brown shoe and mm-hmm. a little bit of the white, it, that's fine, right? Like no one's gonna know. Black suit, look, just wear the, just wear some black shoes. Yeah, and right? look classy. We'll figure that out. That's no big deal. Uh, yeah. So we're going to Epcot. It's gonna be cool. I'm just, I'm just gonna say yes, chef, the whole time. Uh, unless no, I feel like you've planned everything now. Oh, I'll plan everything. Yeah, yeah, including the because you program. want to. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, which is weird. <laughs> I don't see that in you. The the planner. Really? You don't plan anything with Tramon. I think that's why. Mm. You're just like, you oh. do a lot of work. That's not, yeah. Yeah, you don't think, do anything. You're just like, yeah, Tramon. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? Yeah, yeah. But trips wise, I like planning stuff. I like mm. knowing what I'm getting into. I like. Um, do you like to plan things out? <laughs> oh, wait to see what happens. I'd always choose plan things out. But it's. Um, I want to maximize my time wherever I'm going. I don't like to lollygag on trips. Do you plan lollygagging? Uh, plan relaxation. Like, do you have to be doing something all the time? No. No, no, no. I like, can, like, you're like two hours laying on the beach. I, I don't like start and end times to things, but uh-huh. I could be like, we're going to get to the park at 11. So before that, I don't have any so, plans. So like St. Tramon's Day, we're going to do this, then get food, then do Soren. Yeah. We don't need the times on them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good Oops. beer. Yeah. Oh, I liked it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm already sleepy. <laughs> just like, I'm good. It's all right. Uh, I'll save lots of money. You will. You definitely will. All right. Let's get into some news. Got some headlines for you guys. But first, it's snack time. Donald's Duck Pond is now open. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. Uh, this uh, and then uh, next, uh, this comes from Brooke Geiger McDonald. Salvaged Stormtrooper Helmet Bucket coming May fourth to Disneyland. You can get popcorn, Galma puffs, mm. and is there another thing? Chicharrones, fries, Fry, fries. I don't know. Okay. Possibly, I. You get something. I don't care enough to really know. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks cool, but I'd rather like uh, nothing. What's the point? <laughs> yeah. This comes from Scott Gustin. Disneyland Resort is quote. Disneyland Resort showed new details about season of the Force April fifth uh, through June second on nights with Disneyland Park fireworks. You can experience Fire of the Rising Moons, an alternate view of fireworks seen only from Galaxy's Edge, is accompanied. With music by John Williams. I'm down, dude. I want to see this. That'd be cool. Okay. We only have one headline. I don't know. Like, are we going to do a whole episode on this next week? None of this is available till next week. It's the, the Star Wars foodie guide. Right? Honestly, I think we probably should. Should. We should just talk about everything next week, right? Yeah. And just have it be the seasons of the, of the Force like, episode. Okay. Here's the thing. We're recording Tuesday, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Available April 5th through June 2nd. That's next Friday. Next week sounds better for everything. Yeah. We'll just break down season of the force. Yeah. Yeah. Because we haven't had it in a long time. We should talk about it. Yeah. I ca- I, I'm not going to call it this because it just sounds like too much of a YouTube video. Like, what is season of the force? Yeah. But I'll come up with something. But the words season of the force have to be there because people just need to know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we will we will hold dude, 
Great headline, just holding off. Yeah, I was gonna say it, but no spoilers here. Yeah, uh, I'll. Uh, yeah, next week. We we'll call it. That'll be like the the header. Okay. Of that section. The territory. The territory mm-hmm. of the in, the in the episode. Yeah. So we already read Anna Kay's, uh "Don't Be Dumb, Go on the Honeymoon." So just to clarify, you know what? This time. For your right, in which members of the Tram Fam write in with corrections in the comments, just like you can at Tramon.com slash ask. Rain, cue up that corrections music, please. Okay. So, two things. One, Anna K wrote, don't be dumb, go on the honeymoon, and that came to our Gmail. Did you see that before booking your honeymoon? Yes. Were you convinced to book? I know you were going to book it. Did this put you over the edge, or you were, like, going to do it after the episode? This put me over the edge. Really? Yeah. Anna, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This was... I would have even accepted... No, you know, I'm just going... No, if she said, you're being dumb, I think that would... It's you're, t- you weren't... You. I think you weren't thinking about it. I... I wasn't. I you're wasn't. like, hey, it's Yeah. We don't have to... We're not like other girls, you know? And then I kept thinking of me being at home the next couple days, being like, what changed? Yeah. That's why I'm like, you will for sure after getting married ask what now? Yeah. Like it just happens. Not like, oh, what does my life mean now? Just like, what ah, we did the thing. Yeah. But at least this will be a turning of the page. And I'm I'm reading, I'm not going to bring it up later and now playing. I'm still reading Treasure Island. It's actually a very quick read. I just didn't have a chance to read for a while. You saw the it's it's got the gold mm-hmm. uh out uh binding? No. No. It's the gold pages. Yeah. Dude, it's like fresh. So the pages are stuck. Mm. So like sometimes when you turn the page, you turn the chapter and the the gold peels. Not peels off. Like the pages like peel apart. And it's it's a good feeling. You need that gold peel. I do. Yeah. I do. So yeah. Now, Ricardo, Eduardo, had this really long writing. Is it we have it so good or is it here? You know, I think it's a we have it so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Eduardo is alive and well. We knew that, but he's no longer missing. That's your year right for the week. All right. This here's our big thunder topic of the week. Tomorrowland's territories. So rain. I had this idea while trying to sleep mm-hmm. a little while back. We actually, you came up with this week's episode idea. And then I remembered I had some like. I came up with the idea? No, not this one. Oh, okay. I came up with this while sleep, trying to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we were originally going to do this week. Oh, well, is what you asked me and then I. Okay. Well, I had something on the schedule and then this was going to be next week. And then we swapped them and now I'm moving it, flip it, reverse it, all yeah. that. I, as soon as. I said we're not doing your thing this week. I knew it was going to be pushed like three weeks yeah. because of Star Wars and whatever. But that's okay because I'll have more time. I realized I had research materials. Like, you saw it. That's mm-hmm. going to be... We have more to say. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it'll... You know, anytime... When Rain comes up with an episode idea, I want to do it justice because, <laughs> because it's from your mind. I don't yeah. want to like say like, ah, I'll just do Rain's thing, get yeah. it out of the way. It's like, no, I want, I want to be good, you know? So, so we will do that. It's going to be great. Um, good idea. So we'll get to that. But... Tomorrowland has these weird distinct areas or like districts that all feel separate and have their own vibe. Yeah. Like you kind of know what I'm talking about when I talk about it. So, so I just want to get into that this week. Uh, and I had the map, but, um, do you need the map? No, no, I know. Sorry, Dora. So first up, when you walk in, the main walkway, the concourse, right? When you walk in through uh, Astro Orbiter, this area feels like you're still in Disneyland. Yeah. It's very busy. That's what it is. It's super busy. Lots of people. Yeah. Lots of strollers. You could still smell the fried chicken. Yeah. Right? You still smell some popcorn. I know they have popcorn inside, but you know, it smells different. Plaza Inn is just so close. Yeah. It's right there. You could see the bathrooms. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you could see the castle so yeah it's this own area it, there's the dead people mover tracks yeah they have these banners 
<laughs> like what else do you use it for? Yeah. And they just say Tomorrowland right now, but they yeah. will probably say Season of the For Force. sure. For sure. So, yeah, it's like this. It's weird because there's actually a lot there. There's Buzz Lightyear, Astro Blasters, mm-hmm. and there's Star Tours. But you're like, ah, these are rides in Disneyland. Yeah. I feel like, though, Astro Orbiter throws off that area's like feng shui a lot. Like, because it's just smack dab in the middle, it creates this, this like obstruction to the walkway. And because of that, the area entrance feels small. Yeah. I don't like where Astro Orbiter is. It's you have to go around and it's it's down like it's and it's almost like the the people going in only go through the right side. People leaving only go through. They kind of want that though. They it's, do. That's the traffic. You they know, do. The they flow do. Of traffic. I I just uh, Astro Orbiter bugs me there. Bugs yeah, me. I want the, give me that world clock back. You know. Yeah, something. Dude, imagine a nice entrance. Like foliage, like, like sure uh, plants. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a horticulture. Dude. Really? Why don't we just move it back to where it was? Structural, yeah, integrity. That's why. Oh, that's why. You're and saying. elevators. And yeah, that thing's still up there, dude. That's the right. Crazy, yeah, crazy. Uh, someday, but yeah, just the, the dead people mover tracks just remind you that you're going into an old place. Yeah, and yeah, the vibe is very. Do you also just feel exposed there? Mm, okay, it's. I can see that busy open and there's just buildings like you're kind of like ah, i gotta get out of here i gotta do yeah. i gotta go to do something else which yeah. i guess makes sense right you can't linger anymore they got rid of the seating but yeah it's just kind of like this it's the main walkway like just get just go just go do something else you're not hanging out there no definitely not yeah i've never told someone meet me in the walkway of tomorrow no nope. like no nope. in front of astro orbiter no yeah at that point meet me at the plaza and bathroom yeah right off to the side. Yeah. Uh, it it has potential because of it the, does. the buildings on the side, the iridescent stuff. But yeah, it's it's just kind of like this. You know, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. I think, like you said, we can have some, like a really nice entrance piece there. But Astro Orbiter just yeah, they it just off. Dude, they just redid Astro Orbiter. I know. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. All right. We have the Terrace. There's just kids, kids everywhere now. It's just become this entertainment area. There isn't the Star Wars uh, Jedi Academy. Yeah. Uh, the food is like uninteresting. I got a major bone to pick What's with that? my trip this past week because I ate at Galactic Grill. Uh-huh. Why? You know what? Do I leave this for We Have It So Good or do I talk no, about no, it? No, let's, let's go. Give oh, it, okay. S- set the scene. Okay. We were walking in. It's already we already know it's a busy day. Walking in, and we were like, "Okay, let's let the crowds die down a little bit. We'll go eat at Trader Sam's." There was a ten minute wait. Trader Sam's. Trader Sam's. Ten minute wait for three people. Sure. We get there, sign our names in, changes to forty. Brandy's like, "That's fine. We'll get a drink at Tang Row Terrace. We'll hang out. There's open chairs. We'll just chill." Sure. Got our drink. Waited. An hour passes by. Whoa. An hour and a half is about to pass by. And I said, look, I'm starving. It's already 7 o'clock. I can't wait anymore. And I told Alyssa was there with us too. And I'm like, let's just order from Galactic Grill. And I saw this mushroom uh, cheesesteak. Did you not realize the steak is mushrooms? I did not realize that. And also, that my fault. It's in the plant-based section. That is my fault. I give you that one. Okay. Not my fault that they put mayo on it because mayo is not listed as an ingredient on there. It's my cheesesteak has mayo, but it's also like you can't expect people to know anything. It's just really a, a really upsetting yeah, just dinner. Mayo and mushrooms. Yeah. Was uh, the cheese real? Probably. It was real. It was real, but it was not melted. Oh, so it wasn't plant based. No. It's vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it wasn't melted? It wasn't melted. Wasn't melted. What'd you do? I had like I wiped off as much of the mail as I could, and I had like three bites, and I was like, "I'm I'm good, I'm done." I was dude, I was legit upset, but I'm just like, they really got to step up their food game there. It's not good. Why didn't you get the chicken tenders? Brandy and Alyssa both got chicken tenders. Did you try it? The chicken tender? Yeah, absolutely mediocre. Maybe I was just salty. I don't know, but they were just fine. 
A standard chicken tender. Like, I, compared to the Tangaro Terrace chicken tender. Tangaro Terrace tenfold better. And they got better fries. These are these are the you know those thin standard Disneyland fries? Ugh. You know what I'm talking Dude, about? Dude, you don't want only McDonald's can do that. Yeah. And clean jumper. Yeah. No, okay. Sure, sure. No, you know what it is? You raised the the claim jumper claim. <laughs> the McDonald's size fry can only be done by McDonald's. After that, you gotta go thick or shoestring. Yeah, yeah. There's no there's no in between. Yeah. Don't don't do it. It's it was, sneaky Ron. Just only he could do it. Yeah. They were not good, dude. Golden horseshoe tenders, tenfold better. Oh, those aren't even good. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, That's screw good. Galactic Grill. Pick All a right. lane, bro. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so this area, besides the name, you yeah. know, was Tomorrowland Terrace, and now it's Galactic Grill, is unchanged for years. Mm-hmm. It's got that, like that, the little Michelangelo, mm-hmm. you know, at the top. And uh, it's, why did I put, okay, I, I, never mind. Yeah, there's just dance parties all the time, more Pixar. More random stuff. Bring me the Elvis impersonator. But the point is, the vibe is just family time. Yeah. And the vibe is Disney Junior Theater. It is. It is. And you just... I don't want to eat there. Yeah, I don't either. When we get the Darth by Chocolate, it's just odd being there. There's especially the tables that are in that like square closest to the viewing area of the stage. The Where the it dips down? But they're higher yes. up. Yeah. Yes. That's where I ate my uh, Darth by Chocolate. Dude, it, that reminds me of the Hungry Bear tables that are right by the cash registers. Same vibe. Uh, I don't like that vibe. I don't like It's the chaos, the family, the Hungry Bear has a great seating area. You just got to walk. Yeah. Tomorrowland Terrace? It's terraces, dude. There's, a, there's those two terraces. Then there's the lower ones. And then there's that like upper area by the plants. Yeah. You you can get lucky with some of them. Really dark in the area. Though. Yeah, really, but it's weird. And I feel like the tables are always wet. Yeah, yeah. what's up with that? It, it, it's not just the rain. It's just like it's like they clean and they don't wipe off. Yeah, and then there is a water refill station there. Oddly enough, and that's been there for a long. time. That's yeah. an old school. That water might be that station. that and Rancho Los Socolo are like the and Red Rose. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah. that that's one of the OGs too. But um, yeah, it's just yeah the vibe. The vibes are off at Applebee's. It is. Over there. It uh, is. To yeah. tell you the truth, I like Pizza Pizza Planet vibes more. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. But there is kind of like a sub area here. Mm-hmm. And the reason I got confused earlier, everyone, I wrote, I saw my next bullet point. And I thought I was talking about the submarines. Yeah. But no, I'm talking like India subcontinent. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow landing. And that lower area below the platform is like a, a, a sub area mm-hmm. of the terrace. Like, there is actually good seating under You're talking about the Matterhorn side? No. What are you talking about? Closer to what? Tomorrow Landing, the store. Oh, to the store. And you know, to the right of the store, yeah. just like there's this cove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of just. You're right. You're right. Seats. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. And it's just kind of quiet there. Mm-hmm. And you can't really hear the DJ. It's almost like the eye of the storm. Oh, the eye of the storm is the center. This is like, it's like the the area that's not very busy, like you're saying. But there's busyness all around it. No, you know what this is. You know what this is. Tsunami's coming, and the the tide is pulled out. Yeah. So you're like, oh, there's no water here, <laughs> and then it's like, careful, <laughs> Disney Junior dance party. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then and then they're just like, a fruit stand. Yeah. Right, but it's like this weird empty area that's just like it's closed off. I spilled water on myself. Closed off from everything else, and I forget that it's there. Is this near that popcorn stand? Yeah, that popcorn stand is apparently like the season of the fourth popcorn stand now. Yeah, and then is the food area be across from it still there? Mm, I don't know. They had that stand. They did. Yeah, I don't know. That's like kind of attached to this in a it way. Was, it was like a like a fruit stand, right? Like they would sell little fruits and like hot cocoa, yeah, and weird, chips, weird stuff. Yeah, almost like the one by Red Rose. 
Yeah, but they don't have the freezes, do they? No. Yeah. Freezes are on the other side by Pizza Planet. Yeah. Pizza Port? What's it called? Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they're just like that. The the under the under terrace. The what do we call that? The subterranean district. <laughs> there we go. Bingo. So this, I almost put this at the end, but I'm like, I got to put something a little more interesting in the middle. All right. Keep, keep everyone here. The CD back alley. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. You go, you walk towards Autopia, right? Yeah. A little past interventions. And there's like the winner's circle, mm-hmm. right? And you can kind of go one of two ways. You can go to the right to the Autopia bathrooms. And this, this is very much, you're not going to understand this reference, Rain, but the vibes are the bus stop in SpongeBob where he gets stuck in that, that town. I feel like I have seen this episode. Here, let's see. SpongeBob bus stop. I'm, I think I've seen most. Rock Bottom. I've seen most. Yes, I've seen that. Yeah. So. He, that, it, you're at Rock Bottom and you're, you're just trying to get out. And that's, uh, those are the vibes by the, yeah, look at that. Those are the vibes at the Autopia bathrooms. <laughs> I got to pull some of that picture, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just, just SpongeBob? Yeah. <laughs> All of them? The carousel of SpongeBob? Okay. And then Paramount will come after us. <laughs> yeah. So there's just people waiting there. Yeah. They're resting. And it's, you know what the, why the vibe is the SpongeBob, the rock bottom bus stop? The red neon? Yeah. Yeah. From, it throws it off. Yeah. From, uh, from Winter Circle. Interventions. No, the Interventions building. It's got like the red knee on the staircase. Oh, okay. And there's these stairs that people sit on. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, Winter Circle's got that little door too, which is also just very odd. Maybe that's where the bus, the information thing is. It's stuff. a very quiet area too. De- <sighs> depends. You know what it is? You feel like it's shady, but it's not. Yeah. The bathrooms, not quiet. But you go toward the train, very quiet. Nobody's over there. Yeah. So, well, there was one time. So yeah, if you go to the left, there's the train stop. Did you already forget the train stop exists? Mm-hmm. I always forget. I never forget. I love that yeah. train stop. So yeah, there's just like the old train stop. It's still, you know, old as in it's the old like Tomorrowland 2077, mm-hmm. whatever they called it. Uh, and, there, you know, we saw people smoking. Yeah. And back to the CD back alley. Yeah. So there you go. people could smoke back there, I guess. But In yeah, character. there's just like this seating area next to the planter and autopia is going but it does not feel like autopia yeah you're just like yeah you're you're in the backwoods almost mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> what backwoods isn't that like a rapper brand or something for wheat is it i think so oh <laughs> okay then yeah things people do in the woods um for 500 alex r.i.p <laughs> so yeah it's just like this this odd it's dark yeah. And it's, yeah, it, it could be, cre- it's not creepy though. It's comforting. It's I love that area. Cozy darkness, yeah. you know, uh, linger in darkness. Was that a, no, that's lingering will. What's that? The boss battle in the, the weird organization 13 side extra boss thing. In two? Yeah. You don't remember lingering, lingering will? That's really what it was called? Oh no, that it was a. Uh, That's Ventus. Yeah. Or uh, the other guy, the tall guy, Xehanort guy. No. Yeah. That's his. That's his armor. Xehanort. It's uh, Terra. Terra. Yeah. Xehanort. Xeran- Xehanort. Lingering well. Yeah. Terra's not. Terra's in Xehanort. In Kingdom Hearts 3. Remember, you, there's Terra Xehanort? <sighs> Too many. <laughs> it's Kingdom Hearts, man. <laughs> Too many. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I like this. I, I like this back area. Solid bathrooms. Solid. Hundred percent. Solid. It's solid. like the they they remind me of the the Edwards movie theater bathrooms that have not been updated since <laughs> 1985. Yeah. <laughs> Next area, I like to call it the base of the mountain. All right. What's the the king at the bottom? King at the bottom of the mountain? Is it? No idea what you're talking about. There's King of the Hill. King under the mountain. King under the mountain. Okay. That's uh, the Hobbit. The King under the mountain. The dwarf. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. The King under the mountain. Okay. So the base of the mountain. 
Star Trader, front of Space Mountain, the Kugel Fountain mm-hmm. with the big sphere. That's that's uh, the the reference we made earlier. Kids pushing it around. It's kind of a pointless area now. Yeah, the theater's gone. It's complete. Well, it's not gone. It's not being used. Yeah, uh, it's vacated. Yeah, which is annoying. Yeah. Do they do anything in there now? Sto- Dude, it's probably storage. It's you know what? No, the seats are probably still there. Yeah. I wonder if they have like little conferences in there or something. No, they do that in the Starcade. But like presentations, I should say. Oh. Like a keynote can be in there. We would have heard by now. You think so? Kind of sick if that's where they revealed Tomorrowland. The new Tomorrowland. That would be cool. They want to. You don't don't think so? Honda Center. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. You hear about that today? D23? Yeah, Yeah, the the craziness of trying to get tickets. It's always like that. Like, we're not going. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. We'll have Freddie on. All right. (laughs) Yeah. Complete dead space. Uh, And yeah, kids just hang out at the fountain. It could or should be more like a world celebration area. And it was at one point, right? That's where all the flags were. No, the flags are... Where's the world clock? Astro Orbiter. That was the entrance? I th- oh, oh, I'm flipped around. Okay. Okay. Really? What was there before then? Nothing? I don't know. Oh, the escalator to Space Mountain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why do I remember that? Where did it go? Oh, here. Yeah. I don't recognize that. That's where I got it. Oh, Art. hey. Yeah. yeah. Dude, man, look at that. Look at that cool the under the, the yeah. theater and everything. 100%. Yeah. Hold on. What a go. What a shame. You know why I'm doing this? Paula, shout out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so this area, that that's like popping, dude. We got like all these, the seating, this open area. What is that, the 80s? Dude, what a cue for Space Mountain. Yeah, dude, that's hardcore. And some of that's probably still only half an hour because people were quicker back then. And and there was no fast pass. Yeah, exactly. So, dude, is this like a lounge area on top? What are these lights? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Wish we can go back in time. If I could turn back time, well, backwards. Turn back time. Okay. But yeah, this is completely a dead space now. I I think it was bigger in the 90s, it felt like. Yeah. It was like, yeah, we had the ball, people were buzzing around. Yeah. Uh, Things felt new. We had, well, and yeah, the theater that was like, oh, we just came out of the show. We're going to the show. Honey, I shrunk the audience. Captain EO for a while. That was like 20. Late 2000s, early 2010s. Mm-hmm. And, and but before that. Yeah, I know. But like our time. Yeah. Honey, I shrunk the audience. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just kind of this. What What would the. It's not even like a base camp. Like, what is this? What is this area? It's it just in front of Star Trader. It's just like the. It's like you the re- mall. You, yeah. You just like regroup here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You don't even know what you're doing. You're just kind of. Why is there a giant piece of grass in the middle of our high school? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> it, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just, you just kind of here. Yeah. Wandering. A lingering will, if you will. But nearby is Pizza Planet. This is its own beast. Yeah. It doesn't even, if you were to tell me Pizza Planet was in Tomorrowland, I know it is. But you can make an argument that it's just like not. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't need to be. That could be almost anywhere. It could be in DCA if we wanted wanted it to be. Yeah. It, it, it has tons of seating. Tons of seating that feels separate from the land. Yeah. You have the inside seating. And then you have like this Space Mountain Mall food court. Honestly, one of my favorite places, dude. Why? Because it feels old. Ah. It feels like the 80s mall. I think what ruins it is the aliens. The, on the walls, the vinyl. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, the red tile and, yeah. and all that. Like the the leather with the cheesy print on it. It's cool. It's like old Taco Bell. Like 90s Taco Bell. Yeah, that's just like vaporwave though. Yeah. <laughs> I got to try the cantina menu. I hear it's pretty good. Yeah. It's all chicken, right? Yeah. Slow roasted. Mm. So it's the shredded chicken from Target. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, 
yeah, the Space Mountain Mall food court. And then there's, yeah, you know what? It's kind of nice, though, because it eats up a million people. It does. And you don't see them. It does. They're just in there. But then there is, like, the kind of front area that's its own patio. But then there's the side area in yeah. the front. Where the under, Coke thing is? Under the rocket, yeah. Yeah. And does that thing ever work anymore, by the way? Oh, no. The floaty thing. Yeah. The steam, none of it. Or the, the where it pops out? No, no, no. Get out of here. I don't think so. Yeah, I've, I've never seen it. You know what? It's probably a morning thing. Yeah, maybe. But at night, dude. Also, I'm imagining all this at night. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the districts. <laughs> Shout out to King Lawrence. Travers Town. Yeah. So the have you sat near the rocket at night? No. Dude, it's dark. There's like this other like alley thing heading to backstage. It looks like an entrance to backstage. Yeah. It's just open and it's there's no curb, which also feels weird. Yeah. It just kind of flows into Tomorrowland and you, there's no lights and you're just eating your macaroon <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's dead inventions, and you're just kind of there, and you don't want to be there. I don't even know what the point is. Tomorrowland sucks, dude. Yeah. God. I wasn't, dude, halfway I was like, are we doing another This Land Sucks episode? But, yeah. like, it's not what, that wasn't the point. I know, I know. But it's that's just, what, yeah, there are these weird little, little districts, yeah. and they all have these weird vibes, and none of them, have we, any good vibes yet? <laughs> vaguely outside of the terrace vibes we like but not good vibes like the back alley yeah we appreciate it yeah but we're not like oh good vibes the sub the, the sub area though the outskirts yeah that's cool uh, okay so in the outskirts you're kind of fading into fantasy land very slowly right it actually like you know the seating along galactic grill mm-hmm. it's kind of green that's technically fantasy land now Seating along, gr- oh, is it really? Yeah, it's like okay. the OG wood area kind of. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's. I mean, yeah. and then on the other side, where does it stop? Where does Tomorrowland stop? It just right there where the sub ends. Yeah, it kind of just ends at the monorail stop. Because so Idlewise Snacks is so Fantasyland. Matterhorn used to be in Tomorrowland. Yeah, we brought this up on the show when I told Nicole uh, Lazo. It used to be in Tomorrowland. She goes, how did they move the whole mountain? And I go, no, they moved the border of the land. <laughs> Sorry, Nicole. Uh, but yeah, so the lagoon and the subs are in Tomorrowland. And we also have Autopia. Autopia is just an attraction that's outdoors. Yeah. So the outskirts, yeah, they just kind of fade out. The Nemo subs and the lagoon, do those feel like they're in no man's land? Does that feel Tomorrowland to you? It does not feel like Tomorrowland to me. It doesn't feel Fantasyland. It's just no. the, uh, it's the subs. Mind you, when I'm up at the monorail waiting, mm-hmm. I have said repeatedly that's my favorite spot to take. So pictures. that's the thing. The, uh, the monorail... Okay, it's supposed to be this futuristic thing, right? But it feels like only the station is in Tomorrowland. The mm. rest of the monorail is anywhere but Tomorrowland. Yeah. Now, technically, it's very much in Tomorrowland because of the... Uh, because of Autopia, it goes over Autopia, but even that just feels like almost backstage. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't feel p- like part of Tomorrowland anymore. And honestly, the entrance is the most like they don't give any. How how am I trying to say this? Like fanfare. There's no fanfare at all. It's just little red sign. Yeah, it says Monterey. If you could look twice, and you'll still miss it. You know, dude, you could look right at it and go like, Do I go left or right? Into yeah. the subs or into the monorail? Yeah, and there's like, yeah, it's B- big old thing for the for the subs and a little itty bitty entrance for for the monorail. Yeah, uh, what's what's the itty bitty little space? What's that from? Eh, oh, uh, genie, right, right. Yeah, it's the station is kind of awesome, and I think that's it's on the outskirts. It's almost like the monorail station area. Yeah, where you're underneath it for the subs. Uh, and as opposed to being on top of the subs and you got the lagoon and it's just like this open air, cool lights Mm -hmm. and all that, but also not very Tomorrowland. More more like a train station. Yeah. Like a cool train station. Yeah. Which is what it is. And yeah, you just kind of like, you're just here. By the time you're here, you're leaving, you're escaping. Yeah. Cause you even have just part of the terrace bleeding out down there. So... Yeah, and 
and strawberry parking. Yeah. I like to argue that there's a terrace we're missing here. The Space Mountain queue, I feel like, is its own thing. That area over there. Up top. Up top. Up top. That area, even though it, it is the most Tomorrowland, doesn't feel like it's part of anything else. At that point, it's just a queue, though. It right? is. You're not. It is. But we spent a lot of time up there. I know. I'm just doing a single rider. How do you get to single rider? Oh, from the back? Yeah. From the, uh, that's all. Okay. Yeah, that's all like Space Mountain. But yeah, okay. Yeah, Space Mountain is its own thing. I think it could be cooler just like with, uh, you know, the old people mover track that they ended up doing mm-hmm. nothing to. And yeah. they close everything up. They kind of just kind of project on it. Yeah, it's a huge just wasted area. Yeah. I don't know. I, I honestly think that we can, that like open area where the, the Krugel ball is and stuff, you can put that up where the queue's at. Yeah, but then the kids are going to run out and play. True, true, true. I mean, dude, they, they thought about And they're going to get wet. Yeah. And then we're going to burst through the ceiling. of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think they ever want to move that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's just these weird disparate areas that, almost have nothing to do with each other. Mm -hmm. And Tomorrowland is just, just a place. We had an episode called a say of disrepair, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that was about something different. That was just, everything's broken. Yeah. I don't think we're as bad right now. We're not. We're not. And of course we have the interventions building, you know, we got the skyline and whatever. That's just kind of, I don't even know what that is at this point. (laughs) Yeah. It's, that is, that's like the, you know what that is? That's the closed down Sears. Yeah. It's the anchor store that's just closed now. They closed off. Or the opposite, where like the, that's the only thing open and they close off the rest of the mall. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's just like, eh, we don't go there. Yeah. It's just dark. Sponsored by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. <laughs> Which is its own thing. So yeah, Tomorrowland, it's just going to be in weird shape for a while. Yeah. <sighs> well, I mean, we'll see this this summer if there is going to be, if there are any plans for it. You know what bothers me though? Huh. It's like season of the force is Disneyland Park. Right? Mm-hmm. So Star Wars everywhere, but not really. But then Pixar Fest starts like April 26th. And we get a fireworks show. But then Season of the Force is going. It's two overlapping but, festivals. But not just that. Besides Galaxy's Edge, where is Season of the Force? Tomorrowland. But Tomorrowland, half of Tomorrowland is Pixar. <laughs> you're right and the other half is right. star wars it's yeah man dude if they ever make a pixar show that is star wars that's it that's what tomorrowland's gonna be that's the the next ip they kinda did. the young jedi adventures <laughs> still waiting for that series finale yeah right rip wait really no you know the joke right no what would the series finale of the young jedi adventures be the young and the dying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> got him. Master Anakin Scott, got him. Mr. Sky, Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Annie. Uh, Funny boy. Yeah, young, young Snoke. Yeah. You saw that with those rumors, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, it's, it's time to escape from tomorrow. Yeah. And that is already our break thunder topic so if this is your final stop thanks for chairman with us today and if not it's time for we have it so good are we in the tram fam talk about our trips to disney parks and more right in with your trip recaps traveling.com slash ask rain are we having any are we having are we now playing so good or not really um i mean the same old Final Fantasy. Shout out to uh, Quiet on the Set. Shout out to Physical 100. Two shows that I binged the past week. Um, but where are you in Rebirth? I'm still in the open Junon area. Open I Junon. Okay. I haven't really played. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I did all the side quests I d- there. I don't think... I sort of died. I don't think telling you where I'm at is a spoiler. Because you've already experienced the story, right? Yeah, let's just leave it for everyone. Okay. Yeah. You tell me later or just... Yeah. You're farther in. All right. Reyes 
right? Oh, we do. Do we do our trips first? I think we do. Yeah. All right. When did you go, Rain? I went Friday. I went Thursday. All right. You kind of started telling the story. Yeah. And that was almost the whole trip, dude, to tell you the truth. Well, okay. What happened after the mushrooms? Did you eat? Uh, Did I eat? You had to have eaten. Did I? Did I eat something else? Let me see. You said you took three bites. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember if I did or not. I honestly, I don't. I didn't take any pictures, so I don't remember. Oh, you know what? I can look at mobile orders, right? Disney mobile order. Because it it was just okay. So those of you who didn't hear earlier, which I think all of you did, um, I just had a bad experience. It's really busy right now, like ridiculously busy. To the point where it's like, I'm trying to avoid. I have a Thursday res, and I'm like, do I just cancel that? Cancel that, dude. Screw it. it it's it's real bad. You saw that, that TikTok that went viral that Matthew sent us? A while ago? The the one about the, the exit. It's yeah. 22 minute wait. Uh, thank you for your order. March 17th. No. March. Nope. Nope. That was St. Tramon's Day. Anyways, I don't remember what I ate. And if I did eat, it was so whatever. I did not think anything of it. So um, we ended up going on. I'm honestly like trying to black out that whole day. It was that bad. Uh, I don't know. Don't remember. Hmm. Don't remember what we got. on. I think it was something small. Oh, we got on Alice in Wonderland. That's what oh, we got. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that was fun. Alyssa had never been on it. Ever? Ever. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Cool. Cheesy garlic pretzel bread. That's what I got instead. Ah, yeah. And I, got, I had half of it, and I was like, "I'm good with eating." So. Marinara? No marinara. You don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it. Don't and need it doesn't it. need a skewer in it either. Yeah, it's 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 great as it is. Yeah. So, I went. I wasn't gonna go, and I was kind of like, oh, I kind of want to do something. So Thursday night, I checked before asking, and I, and Kimmy hasn't been at Gray Maple yet. Mm. It's like, hey, you want to go to Gray Maple? Five thirty tomorrow? She goes, mm. sure. So we went. We just, dude. We just parked there. I'm like, let get off the exit. Madhouse. Stay to the right. Yeah. Go down Disneyland Drive. New procedure. Unless it's not new. I don't know. You go to the valet area. They stop you. And you say you're going to Great Maple. And they give you a red slip of paper. And they it says Great Maple on it. And they circle dinner. And then they say, put this on your car and park on the second level in the structure. Is that? Yeah. No, I just grabbed you, a ticket. You do grab the ticket, but they give you that thing. Is that like just in case your dinner goes over? Or no, something? so they know you're not hotel parking, I guess. Oh, okay. yeah, because the hotel is officially open. Yeah, but yeah, because I was like, the guy was like, "Come here," and I was like, pointing like to the left, like I'm just gonna go. And he's like, "Just come here." I'm like, "I'm going to Great Maple." He goes, "Well, it's a good thing." I, he wasn't being mean. He was like being very friendly. He's like, "Good thing I stopped you. You got to do this, whatever." Like she's gonna do the same thing. Like Kimmy's right behind me. So yeah. So uh, we parked and walked in, and Kimmy hasn't even seen Pixar Place at all. Mm. So we walk in and through the the parking structure entrance, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, shout out when you when the door opens, like Mike Wazowski's on a yellow thing, and then there's a blue tile, and then when it opens, it's green. Yeah, so it's genius. Yeah. So Kimmy noticed that. So we walk in, see all the little art, whatever, and I go, "Hey, it's Bing Bong," which. Oh, the character. Yeah. Like the 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 huge character that Tiffy Luna couldn't find. Yeah. Shout out. So we met him. Just randomly. Yeah. The cast member, the not Bing Bong, like the the, the host. Mm -hmm. Really into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we saw him. Uh and uh you did you we we sent it to you. The Heimlich couch. Yeah, it was cool. With all the little feet. Mm -hmm. So kind of saw that. Cool detail. And then went to Great Maple. They sat us in the booth. I haven't been to Great Maple with you. I just realized. Are you right? Yeah. That's funny. With the guys. Yeah. This is the first one. So I was like, Kimmy, do you want the Parmesan truffle fries or the mac and cheese? So give me the truffle fries. Totally fine. They're good. Okay. Light garlic, which probably better. Right. And then, dude, she got this little bear cold brew thing. That's cool. Delicious. That's cool. It's. This one was a caram salted caramel, mm -hmm. which she doesn't normally get. Wow, really? That's a salted caramel? Yeah. Wow. I, did when I went the day of, 
when it opened, it felt like they put a pour over inside of a, a regular cup. And they said, this is the salted caramel. No, this was, it's a cold brew. Mine was supposed to be a cold brew. Yeah. With, I got the same thing. It just didn't look oat like that. milk. Yeah. And yeah. And it, it was very good. It was very lightly sweet. Mm. Uh, good caramel flavor, but good coffee flavor. I finally got the Tropical Mermaid. Nice. Have you tried it? No. It's really good. Okay. And it's a big drink. Yeah. And it's like 10 bucks or something. It's no. 16? No, probably. But it's still like, dude, a lot in there. Gave us the nice water. So I got the hash thing my sister got. Oh, the ribeye hash? It was like cold. Yeah, I brandy didn't care for it. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Uh, when my sister got it, it looked a lot better. And the potatoes were more potatoey. I don't know. It was fine. Uh, That's exactly Brandy's uh, response to yeah. it. It was fine. And then Kimi got chilaquiles, also fine. Mm. They looked better when Aaron got them. But when we went, they were like closing for lunch. Okay. Where they're like, anyone sitting, like we're, the kitchen's still open. We're just like not letting more people in. So maybe it was like, oh, there's five people here. We're going to cook everything well. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. All that was okay. And then I'm, the waiter goes by. I'm like, hey, can I, can I get one of those seasonal donuts? He goes, just one? And I go, yeah. <laughs> like I thought I was going to have to buy three. Those are not Lucky Charms. What are those? Walmart. Like, oh, yeah. You know, what? what's up with that? None of them. Where have I seen these? They're like the Lucky Charms picked out of Frosted Flakes or something. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look good. The icing was a little cereally. Okay. It was a fresh donut. It was good, but it wasn't that ice cream as a donut. Right. Not even close. If it came with that ice cream, ooh, that would be good. <laughs> but it was totally fine. Uh, you want the before discount price? Hold on, let me I'm gonna take a guess. Before discount? Yeah, before discount, before tip. You you got an alcohol shoot and uh, we got Parmesan 20, truffle fries, ribeye hash, tropical mermaid, the brew bear, one seasonal donut, and chilaquiles. Without discount, yeah. one twenty, one oh nine. Okay, ah, it's gonna go one ten. So, it was a lot Dang, for yeah. the quality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, came down to one hundred eighty six, yeah. hundred dollars and eighty six cents. Um. It's a 10% discount only. But yeah, it was a, we had a great time. Yeah. It's a whatever experience with the food. I was disappointed. Matthew calls us, Matthew's eaten there once and he had a hamburger. Yeah. Uh, best restaurant, Disney property. <laughs> when I go, no, nope, one next bite, we'll talk about it. All right. But actually, after that, like, hey, we got time. Like, let's explore. So, we went to Store E. We went to Store E. I got another Kingdom Hearts. This is Kingdom Hearts 3. Look, it's got the 3 behind him. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. I don't know why they keep making these, but I'm going to keep buying them. You're just done with pins, huh? I'm done with pins, dude. I just have to buy these Kingdom Hearts ones. I'm done with stuff, buying stuff. Unless somebody gives it to me, I'm not going to buy stuff anymore. Oh. So we we went to the elevator touch screens. Have you seen these? Mm -hmm. It tells you which elevator to go to. We hit pool, which is the same. There's a separate button for fireworks viewing. It's the same place. I think it's just so people like don't get confused. So we head up. Nicely redone. Were you guys the only ones up there? Uh, there are people in the pool. Oh, okay. But uh, basically, small bites, not open yet. Uh, all these lights are the stars. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, which I feel like I could just buy those um, for mine. There is a La Luna shuffleboard, which is genius. Yeah, that is. I think you have to rent it or at least like rent it for free, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and then some other games, uh, they were... They're doing Din Tai Fung construction. <laughs> so that's cool. We can see that from there. But like, dude, hotel, not done. Look at these. Yeah. There's a whole like blown out floor. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Man. But then sat by the fire, which is, is real. Dude, real nice. These umbrellas. That's cool. From the, the rainy, I don't even know what the yeah. short is called. The theming is arguably better than Pixar Peter. I think it is. And then. It's, ve it's very well done. Dude, these are. This is by Small Bites, and everything is pixel art. Yeah, that's cool. Of every, like so many characters. So uh, it's great. Yeah. I like the whole. Like I was saying last week, I like the hotel a lot. So shout out! There's some nice bathrooms by the pool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Right to the left of this. Nice. Nice. But then, kept going. We went to the top floor, and like, the ba there are no baseboards, and it's just like painted. Not even painted. They ripped off the baseboards. And then it's like suddenly Paradise Pier Hotel. There's <laughs> not redone yet. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And then uh, the ceiling is just like these Popcorn. old... Popcorn. No, the old the sound tiles. Oh, okay. And then 
dude, there's just this creepy door. This is not an exit in Calibri on Microsoft Word with three out of four painter's tapes. And yeah, it's just like rough. But like they redid the wallpaper. And then some, the hallways where the rooms are are redone. Mm. And there's like a really nice, like some really nice room looks like. It looks like they split some suites into two rooms. Oh, okay. And then the carpet has some really creative like hidden characters in it. Okay. But then the other half is just like bad. It seems like they're getting there. But the hotel's open. Uh, yeah. As Pixar Place. Yeah. And they still have scaffolding outside. You can you can't hide the scaffolding. But you can hide rooms. Yeah, but why like, why open it? Outside, yeah. Because the shareholders are like, "Oh, the hotel's open. Great." But if they were doing Pixar Fest and they open it during Pixar Fest, they'd have a few more months. Get rid of the scaffolding and it would be huge. With small bites isn't even open. Yeah. So just keep calling it Paradise Pier. Don't put this There is no sign. They just painted it. So That's what I needed. Okay. But then we headed back down and uh Joe Gardner was there. Oh, uh, which is awesome. Just hanging but out. Is there a guy playing members? piano? Okay. Yeah. And he's playing. He's got his little bag. Said hi to him. Hmm. Cool. Nice guy. And then oh, out of the top we peeked at this thing. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. not the house that my dad sent me. And we got some intel that there's there's this house next to the gulag where they punish the cast members <laughs> uh, in the Simba parking lot. It's a Aulani DVC preview house. So you can see what the rooms are like? Which is wild. Yeah, that is wild. But pretty cool. And then we just... Because you can buy Aulani as your home resort. How do you... Okay, does you it... You choose a home resort. But can you choose anything? You can choose the ones that they have for sale. So there's limits? Yeah, and depending on which one you purchase, puts different uh, time limits on your vacation club membership. So the one I got was the newest one, uh -huh. which gave me the longest time I'm part of the program, which is 55 years, I think. Does it cost the same? It or? costs the same. No, no, no. There's, there are different different prices. Uh, but it's not, it's not crazy different. I think Aulani was like 43 years, 44 years or something like that. Wow. But you get priority in booking at Aulani. I get priority at booking at Wilderness Lodge. So. Are you happy with your choice? Old Key West? No. Oh, with the, yeah, I actually, I've been you since I've gotten DVC. I've used every single point. Oh, they roll over, don't they? They do. Yeah, they do. And I've stayed at maybe let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably like seven or eight different hotels. Hey, they got some good DVC merch right now. I in, saw in like I think I saw it at Fantasia. Acorn? Oh, oh yeah, Fantasia. Acorn too. So, oh, and World of Disney, they have like a lounge fly. Oh yeah, yeah, that's random. It's actually not bad. Uh, so. We decided we were thinking of going to Palm Breeze, mm -hmm. but then like it got later and later and Palm Breeze was busy. Really? But, uh, it took Kimmy to Discovery Tower. She hasn't been there since Disney 100, October. So showed her what Palm Breeze looks like, uh, the new lights. We actually explored DVC Tower a little bit, or the Discovery Tower. Like mm -hmm. We went up, uh, saw a couple of the floors, all the different art, and then walked into the convention area in the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, we were gonna sit at the lounge. We we're like, eh, I don't. I didn't want another drink. Yeah. And took her to the second floor because maybe she she hadn't seen a lot of that stuff in a while. Went to the Fantasia store, and that's where I saw the tiki mug. And I was like, Does this count? Oh, there's a Photoshop I forgot to do. We'll get to that. And then I forgot why I wanted to go to Small World Gifts. But I remember we mentioned something here. Mm -hmm. And then I went there and I remembered it was that you can specifically get embroidery done in Small World Gifts. Where is Small World Gifts? The little sundry stop, shop next to, in the front lobby of oh, okay. Disneyland Hotel. Like across from the Fantasia store. Yeah. yeah I yeah. saw on the machine, like that's what we were talking about. And then walked to the car. Cool. Uh, night, dude, we, we parked at 5.15. And left at eight oh five. Use that full three hours nice. of free parking. Nice. So had a really wonderful trip. Yeah. Despite the food being okay, mid maple. <laughs> mid maple, yeah. mid -maple <laughs> is back. Uh, besides that, but again, great experience. Waiter was cool. I think the manager brought some food. All that kind of stuff. Like 
great experience and just a, a wonderful, nice little Friday day night just out Beautiful. of nowhere. Yeah. Beautiful. Didn't go to the park. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you didn't, did you go again? No. No. All right. So, Reyes writes in, what's up, Kirk and Rain? We have it so good that I want to take the time to thank you both again for a magical St. Tramon's Day experience. He did it again. <laughs> what? Oh, Tramon Day? Yeah. Tramon's Day experience. Appreciate the good conversations, vibes, and making new friends. Didn't mean the Irish goodbye. Thought I told Rain I was seeing a friend in Carsland. He did. He did. I just forgot. <laughs> Five drinks in? Yeah. And yeah. also, I was going to say, he wrote it on Instagram, but I think you read it. I meant mm-hmm. to like leave it unread so I can uh, come back. But he wrote about the Irish goodbye. I'm a fan of the Irish goodbye. Me too, dude. I love it. Not like, hey, you should Irish goodbye me. Like It doesn't matter how you say goodbye to me mm-hmm. or if you don't. But I'm a fan. <laughs> you know, you should look. And I, he came back. He came yeah. back without us saying anything. Like, he was going to come back. He told me he was going to bring his friends back. But, um, yeah, n- no shame. I Maybe honestly I feel like it. it's almost a little more rude to say goodbye. Like, let's say we're at a family party, right? Uh-huh. You say goodbye to, let's say there's 15 people there, and you don't know four of them. You give a hug to every single one of those people, and the last four, you're like, bye. And it's like, oh, you don't matter. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? Dude, I give him the reverse wingapo. All right, I do, <laughs> I, I do, I do the rainbow with my hand. Yeah, and I say bye, everyone. And then if someone wants to follow me to the door for the hug, go ahead. But yeah. I just say bye, 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 and I get out of there. Yeah. All right, Bri, Bri and Frank before and when they get to a place, goes one by one, every single person, which I get. It's very respectful, but it's also like me and Brandy are like. <laughs> Yeah, you're not gonna do that anymore. Yeah, I've Irish goodbye multiple weddings. Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. Best place to Irish goodbye. Yeah, the wedding. Just, just peace. I've out. done that. Yeah. I've done that. Just slip out. Yeah, I bought the bride and groom a shot. Took the shot with them. Waited like two, three hours, and then left. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of them, I just, I was like, you know what, it's time to go. Yeah, got out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then my my own cousin's wedding. <laughs> I uh, I was telling everyone at my table. Mm-hmm. Listen. I'm an Irish goodbye this thing at around 10. Dude, it was 10? No cake yet. 10 p.m.? Got stuff to do the next day? Yeah. No cake? I'm out. It was a Friday. Yeah. Like, you know? 10 p.m., I'm done. Buddy. Now, I did. I walked up to my cousin's friend. I forgot his name. Sorry, dude. Uh, but I love him. And I just, he was drunk off his mind. So he thought this was very funny. It was not that funny. I had hyped up this Irish goodbye so long. That I told my table, my family, I was leaving, and I went up to him and I just I shook his hand, and I whispered in his ear. I said, "May Saint Patrick bless you." <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> and that was my Irish goodbye. Yeah. He lost it. Not that funny, <laughs> but when you're drunk, that's probably the funniest yeah. thing you've heard all night. Yeah. And I dude, went home. I was like happy, I was like smiling. Like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I love my cousin too. Like whose wedding it was. It's just like, eh, yeah. Oh right, the rules. That's all I'll say. B minus life. Okay. So, sorry. The rest of uh, Reyes's thing. Uh, glad I made it back for Soren and pledging the flesh to the bear. Can't wait for another meetup and more years of tram and we have it so good. Yeah, nice. we had a great time. Thank, thank you for joining us. Seriously. Especially in the pledge. Yeah. Oh, you have to post the picture of you in the lounge. You're I in the lounge. You're just lounging in the oh. chair. I didn't have the picture when I posted the lounge thing. Oh, okay. And we ran out of days. It's a great picture of you. And you just, just post it, dude. All right. Yeah. Just post it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 The one Alyssa took on her little $50 Amazon camera. Is that what that was? Yeah. Because it had the little date. I'm like, well, who put the date on here? Yeah. 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 The Chinese manufacturer who made it. RIP, probably. It was a little dark. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Ozzy writes in. <laughs> hey, Tramon. A little late, but happy St. Tram's Day to you both. Let me just say, I apologize for not being able to meet up with you guys. I tried to get there earlier, but things kept pushing back later and later. Don't worry. He explained it to me. Uh, But I'll definitely be there for sure at your next meetup. So I went Friday around 8.30 p.m. with one of my friends, and I tried the Blue Hawaiian drink at Pim Tasting Lab. It was okay. Couldn't really taste the alcohol, but it was whatever after that. Uh, I went on cars. And shockingly, the wait ended up being less than 40 minutes. And for the first time, uh, uh, 
the line ended up being kind of fast without it breaking down. Uh, what's funny was I kept telling my friend I was going to meet up with you guys and I was literally looking around even in line when I got in DCA. But when I was about to unload at cars, I saw Rain and Brandy in line and I said a quick hi before I had to get out of the car. But I hope maybe we can run into each other at Walt Disney World. It'd be pretty cool. Now you know our schedule. Yeah, you do. Saturday Epcot. Yeah. No, Friday Epcot. I keep forgetting which day we're going. Yeah. That's why. I know it's the ninth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on an Airbus. Yes. A321 That's Neo. Right. That's so, right. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel and Ricardo were asking me. They're like, do you know what kind of kind of kind of plane it is? Now, Airbus, in the past, maybe. they changed planes. Oh, I don't really? think anyone's changing a Boeing these days. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I fortunately have a Boeing to Mexico. That's all right. It's I think it's better than Viva Aerobus and Volaris. So I'm taking Alaska. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't know. I, these days, I don't know. That's the other thing. It's a lot of this is airline maintenance, not Boeing itself. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I step down. See that CEO. Yeah. Before he got murdered by the yeah. <laughs> like the last guy. I shouldn't joke about that, but they. Well, that's true. I'd step down. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're next. Um. So, oh, I want to say, Freddie got the blue Hawaiian. I was like, how is that? Because. Just get a real blue wine. <laughs> okay. Uh, after that, went to Disneyland and got the Jolly Holiday Combo. He and the Jolly Holiday Moved Combo. Jolly, yeah. uh, and tried the lemon meringue dessert. It was okay. Definitely a four <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't get it again. And that's where we were both feeling so tired and left. I also went to Disneyland on Sunday again. We went. Uh, to one of the booths for food and wine and tried the Rosé Margarita at Uncork California booth. It's pretty good with a light taste of alcohol. I'd say 8 out of 10. We'll definitely get this one again. After that, we did Goofy Sky School. Just 30 minute wait. That seems long. I, I saw it when we were there on Thursday. 90. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, after... Oh, did cars again, single rider, and after that, soaring over California, which ended up being 15 minutes. Nice. Such a great ride and brought back so many old DCA memories. After that, we hopped to Disneyland, and it was empty. It was a Sunday night. That's the thing. He wasn't there during the day because yeah. I was there. He got there at 830, no? Did he say it? No. This oh, there's a different night. day. Different yeah. day. Yeah. Um, but he's a, he's a night, night dweller at Disneyland. Uh, everything was 20, 15 minutes. Uh, we did great moments. Still gives me goosebumps when the great animatronic stands up. Same here, man. Same here. After that, we did Star Tours, Matterhorn, both under 15 minutes, and Thunder and Pirates, pretty much walk-ons. And I was looking for the Tigger baseball cap. What's the Tigger baseball cap? No idea. Maybe it's, a, the, you know, that the, like that sweater that looks like Gucci, but it's not. But as a hat? Maybe. Cool. All right. Uh, of course, I had to go to Pooh Corner, but it was crazy. The park was a ghost town, uh, and over there, it was like empty. And then coming back to Adventureland, it was so empty. It was low-key scary empty. But it was nice. Pretty much shut down the park. And around 12.30 a.m., we left Disneyland. Overall, a nice time. I'll probably go to Disney two more times before my Walt Disney World trip. Got all my dinner reservations done. Only thing I'm nervous about is trying to get Tron, Flight of Passage, and Guardians because of the high demand of those rides. But I'm going to just let these things fall into place for those rides. If it happens, it happens. But if not, it's totally fine. And I'll be glad to just take in all of the vibes. Just fork out the 15 bucks and get the, the lightning link. Listen, man, I know when I, when I go to Disney World, I'm forking out like 6K, I feel like. With all the, which is everything? Yeah, it stuff adds up really fast. Really fast. Yeah, like... Plane tickets, nice hotel, maybe mm -hmm. two hotels, you know. What would I do? Animal Kingdom Lodge and Wilderness Lodge? Skip Polynesian? Yeah, you don't need the Polynesian. Yeah. Especially now since it's there. all it's all Moana fight. Yeah. Just yeah. go eat at Ohana or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh I, I was actually thinking about getting a res there because we have uh during the the, bar, the pub crawl. I could get a Ohana reservation right now. Do we want to eat like Animal Kingdom Lodge or Yeah, see that's I don't know. Or the the crazy place. What crazy place? Whispering. Oh, whisper. skillets. Yeah. Mm. You're going to want that after drinking, you know? like Yeah. Or before drinking. Uh, 
I have no idea. What's yeah? What's for breakfast on the drinking day? No intermittent fasting on the trip. Yeah, no. Feels weird to eat in the morning now if I do, which I haven't. But just the idea of is weird to me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it needs to be in our hotel. Hmm. Oh, drinking day. Drinking day. Not Epcot day. Yeah, Epcot day. I'll meet you at Epcot. I'll eat. Yeah. At my hotel. Get some room service. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I we gotta see where we start. I got I have the pub crawl thing. And I think we start in Coronado Springs. So I gotta see how that kind of goes. And is that even a good starting point for us? I don't know. I don't know. We gotta we gotta check it out. Yeah. Remember when Matthew tried to recommend the pub crawl? What do you mean? Like he was like, All right, yeah, yeah. I'll help you guys out. He doesn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I I made fun of him to his face. Don't worry. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, Matthew. <laughs> the mocktail pub crawl. Hey, nothing wrong. Yeah. If anything, it's better that you don't drink. I, he tries the drinks. He's not like, you know. Yeah. But like, this isn't the mocktail pub crawl. Pro- hmm. Actually, maybe he should. Yeah. Episode mocktails at Disneyland? No, not that. Oh. Like, give me the Rex. I'm like, no, I'd rather just drink water. Yeah. Like, then just load up on the sugar. Um, I'll be the designated driver. I'll uh, I'll co- uh, commandeer the buses, drive us around. <laughs> the minivans. The minivans. Mm. Yeah. We're walking everywhere, right? Or no? Oh, you can't. You can't. You can't. I'm gonna follow you. I yeah. don't know why I keep asking things. Okay. The return of Eduardo. It's all waited for this moment. I waited for this moment. Hey, Tramon. Long time no riding. I apologize and have lost my streak with my favorite podcast due to so much going on in my life. As you guys know, I came to Florida last July to participate in the Disney College program. It was amazing. I worked at my favorite park, Epcot. I had my own apartment with no roommates all to myself. And most importantly, I finally became a cast member, something I have always wanted to be since I was three years old in the early 2000s. (laughs) I put that there. Um, I completed my Disney College program in December and was supposed to go back to L.A. in early January. But decided, heck, why not try something new since I'm down here? Technically, I did extend my time at Disney World, but I wanted to try something new. I made such a spontaneous decision to work at another theme park while I'm down here in Florida, especially due to the fact that Disney moved me to Tragic Kingdom and had me move into a new apartment this year, which was later to be filled with new upcoming roommates that I did not get along with. Not to mention that I totaled Mara, my car that I shipped from L.A. while I was down here during a flood accident. So I had to buy a disgusting 2005 Hyundai that I have to roll up and down the windows. Uh, Down its windows, mind you. That was very normal. Long time ago, Eduardo. This sad car had so many problems that I had to deal with and fix. The car's okay now, but I still get nightmares of Mrs. Redneck not starting. But anyways, yeah... Life wasn't going so great for me at the time, and I was unhappy, so I decided to leave Disney. Don't get me wrong. I loved my time at Disney, but I had just had so much stress that I wanted to just come back home. I eventually talked things out with my friends and my dad, and when I cleared up my head, decided I wanted to stay in this swamp dump swamp, uh, for a few more months. So although the plan was to work at Universal, which, by the way, is so much better than the one in L.A., they weren't hiring. That's shocking to me, by the way. It is. So I got a job at SeaWorld. Now, personally, I don't visit the SeaWorld parks for reasons that are pretty well known. Can you stop stop writing in? (laughs) It's here. However, I needed to do what I needed to do to endorse my political gain. I plan to get about... I don't know what he means by that, by the way. But that's okay. I think just adding to his resume. Ah. Yeah. Oh, right, because he just says that here. I plan to get about three months of that job experience as a ride operator. Mind you, something I've always wanted to do. And then perhaps someday return to Disney, as in Disneyland, and work at an attraction with that job experience that I gained. I work at Sesame Street, so I operate six different carnival-style rides. Think Camp Snoopy or the Santa Monica Pier. Now, these rides are not that complex. However, it is a great experience for myself and will look lovely on my resume. I plan on leaving Florida and going back home on June 1st. I already shipped back all the popcorn buckets and memories that I got from Disney, 
and my only big responsibility will be having to sell that car that I bought when the time comes to go back to L.A. If they have CarMax in Florida. Just drop it off. Yeah. Uh, they just give you cash and you go home. Yeah. You sign a paper. Uh, let's see. This whole vacation has been such a life lesson to me. Although I am only 19, I regret nothing. It's a perfect time to regret nothing. My life has now settled since I did leave Disney housing and had to find a room in some couple's house. I pay six fifty for my own room and a shared bathroom. I think the two most important lessons that I have learned are there's no place like home and owning is better than renting. I plan on listening to episodes of Tramon. We'll definitely start writing in again. Wishing you all the best, Eduardo. Man, that took, took me through a journey right now. That was great. Yeah. I love this write-in. Eduardo, yeah, that was thank great. you. Yeah, I'm glad glad you're coming back. Yeah. You know, now, if he's listening to this, I told him he's asked to listen to the last episode. Yeah. He, he, dude, he got the ultimate shout out. Where's Eduardo? Yeah. By, by the Tram fam at... At St. Tram. At St. Tram. They're like, he's a cool kid. Yeah. Here he is. Eduardo's I, from SGV, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. Yeah, he knows, dude. He's a real one. More, more L.A., mm-hmm. I think. Okay. But still, he knows. When you're in L.A., fuck, you're going to hang out in Bello. Yeah. You know, you're going to go to Temple City. You've eaten at the Hat a couple times. Tommy's. Going to Main Street in Alhambra. Oof, man. <laughs> I never was, like, I didn't uh, go to Main during I was part of the school. Main crew, dude. Uh, yeah. Esparza was, like, I the king of Maine. I there all the time. He was the king of Maine, dude. The emos of Maine. Yeah. Menchies, <laughs> Applebee's. No, yeah, the Applebee's. No, the the laser tag place. I did go there once. Okay, it was fun. Were you there when I did? I see you there. I feel like I saw you there. I only went after college. Or, Never mind. No, during college, did not see you there. I did go. Wait, did I see you at the laser tag place? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I was there in Madero and Edwin. When in high school? Yeah, late senior year. Maybe I did. Maybe I did see you there. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. An interesting time. Uh, so, yeah. No, that, what a journey. Glad you did this. Yeah. I, I tell people, experience. any weird thing you're going to do, you just you got to do it as soon as possible because life gets more settled down. You grow more roots. Yeah. You know, like people, you know, I always joke about escaping into the mountains and whatever. And I actually had a conversation with a barista who did escape into the mountains while I was in Mammoth. And her and her boyfriend moved there and became ski bums. Mm. And I remember saying, she's like, where do you live? Or where are you from? They don't know, where do you live? What a weird question. Right? And I was like, oh, like, it in the LA area, like 15 minutes north of Disneyland. She goes, oh, where? I'm from Yorba Linda. And I'm like, oh. So she knew where I was from. Yeah. And uh, she's like, yeah, we escaped before you put down roots. Like, you make a million friends. You get your career, a home, your family grows and really doesn't move. And then you're like, yeah, I can't leave all this. Yeah, you yeah. can. So, yeah, I, I use Eduardo as an example to Kaylee. She's got to. And to Alyssa, yeah. to both of them. I say, you guys are in college. You can go do the college program. Kids who are in college forget that you need experience. And you need to you need a little taste of the real world. Disney may not be a good taste. Is not an exact taste of the real world, you know, but it's a lot closer than never having a job. Yeah, and you're working for a huge company. Yeah, so you you see what it could be like and what yeah. Having Disney, does any anything Disney on your resume is great. Yeah, it's like oh, these they hired you. And from my understanding, you are still taking classes while you're there. You yeah, t- it's a weird. You, you take like six units or something, but it's you never really take time off. So six, six units, is not. I know. It's not. But it, but it's you're, a, do it. If you if you don't know what to do, mm-hmm. this is a good thing to do. I think so, because I think I think he said it a while before. Like he's doing community college first. Yeah. Which if you don't know, it, unless you're like, listen, I'm gonna be a mechanical engineer. Like you could, st- unless it's really just engineering, which you kind of have to take four years of that coursework, not just mm-hmm. GEs. Save your money, go to community college. But you know, yeah. if you get in like Cal Poly, Cal State Fullerton, like Cal States, yeah, just go there. It costs a more than community, but it's still like but it's not like going to a private or don't go to a private college. Yeah, don't go. Pointless, especially in California. But the UCs cost like three times as much as how's Cal State? Yeah, yeah. and there there's no difference anymore. But um, yeah, community college, kind of figure out what you're gonna do without wasting your money, and make sure you know you have a transfer plan 
because that's important. But yeah, you know, figure your life out. You don't have to figure out your whole life. Yeah. But have some time to think about your life. Go do the things you want to do. Um, you ain't got a thing to prove to you. Um, eat some pork and beans, you know, and uh, yeah, enjoy a little bit of freedom. Not that you won't be free, but it's like, it doesn't matter yet. Yeah. It doesn't matter yet. And then one day it just really matters. Everything matters. It's also like, like he was explaining. He was 18, 19 years old. Yeah. He has his own apartment. That's insane to me. You know, like the idea of living on your own and you're 18, 19. Have you ever lived on your own? No. I've always had a roommate. I highly recommend it. If you can, obviously. Yeah. But like, it's a different experience. You got to fend for yourself. Yeah, for everything. I mean, what's the hardest part about being an adult that no one told you about? In with home ownership? No. Just in general? Adult. Cooking for yourself? Yeah, figuring out what's for dinner every night for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's the worst part about being an adult. And yeah. when you're alone, you can't ask anyone. Mm-hmm. It's like, what am I eating today? In, in all fairness, I've never had that conversation with Sos. Yeah, like, so I guess. Like, even when we live together, we're not like, hey, would you... I mean, if we're like, hey, you want to hang out? Yeah, that's a different thing, but like... I'm not asking him what are you in tonight, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, definitely if you could do this kind of thing, do it. Um, you know, don't don't drive through a flood. I don't know. I don't think that was his fault. It's Florida. Yeah. Florida sucks. Florida sucks. Yeah. But yeah, this sounds thanks for thanks for the update. Yeah. Everyone, now you know where he is. We could take him off the milk carton. Yeah. <laughs> uh and uh and yeah, definitely when you're young, go do Go do these things. Like go go live in the studio apartment. Yeah. You, you don't want to do that when you're old. But when you're young, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Go live in the cool place. Every, everyone that I've talked to who's done college program has loved it. I know someone who didn't get in the college program or got in and then COVID happened mm-hmm. and just cried about it. Yeah. And then because but the opportunity was gone after that. Right. It's a very sli- it's a small sliver of your life. It is. It's better to regret the things you did than regret not doing things. You don't want to think, what if, for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, what if we moved on to the next segment? Rain, what time is it? It's pizza time. It's time for one last bite. Rain, as always, what is the best thing you tasted this week? A lot of good food this week, except <laughs> that mushroom. I was going to say. The mushroom Philly. Get out of here. Uh, I had uh, I made some really good pozole. Ooh. Yeah, from scratch like i didn't make the hominy and stuff but i it was like a four or five hour process oh i'm making the pozole so like you know boiling the pork and doing all that kind of stuff it was good it was good uh, i've eaten it for like three days straight nice and uh delicious every single time cool mm-hmm. cool sounds great uh for me nothing stood out oh i need to give a shout out last week i gave it to that ice cream which was wonderful but i forgot because of St. Tram's Day and everything, Kimmy and I, the day before, went out for our anniversary. Oh, that's right. Driftwood Kitchen and Laguna. Great view. I send that to you guys, right? Yeah. 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 Great view. Food? Good. Like a, like a steakhouse kind of thing? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it was good. Uh, once again, had a great time. It's a very cool place to go. I would still say to go uh, around sun- if we went around sunset. But uh, I had I told Kimmy, pick the dessert. We always look for the chocolate. We went with this, like, sticky toffee pudding mm-hmm. cake bread. Pu- it wasn't quite bread pudding, but it was something like that. And it was phenomenal. So I just have to say that was the true winner. Um, I don't think uh, she has a picture of it somewhere. I don't think it's in here. Let me just double check because you would you love to see it. Rain loves to see it. Uh, driftwood, driftwood. Okay, yeah, like this was the food. Like Kimmy got some like steak and gnocchi. I got like this lobster carbonara. Okay. Um, which is yeah. Mai Tai. Yeah, dessert's not here. That's okay. But we went to this chicken place called I Got My Sound Chicken. F- fr- Asian fried chicken. I don't know. Oh, that's what you sent me. Yeah, I don't know exactly what uh country. Sorry. Yeah. They were like old radios just like glued to the walls very cool vibe it's by the the katsu place by barnes and noble okay yeah it wasn't like phenomenal but i kind of maybe didn't get the right flavor i got it was like honey love honey soy 
garlic. Okay. But fresh fried chicken, little rice cake stuff. Kimmy got the popcorn chicken. Very good. I they, they have one that's black. It's seaweed. Mm-hmm. And then they have like a spicy, tons of flavors. Original. What what Korean? I it was like Korean fried chicken. Okay. But Kimmy said they were playing J pop in there. I mean, they could like J pop, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, the whole place was radio themed. So I'm yeah. not yeah, it was for sure Korean fried chicken. But yeah, it was really good. I got dude a half chicken fried fresh. Like we had to wait for it. It was like 15, 16 bucks. And the popcorn chicken was not, the whole check. Cause uh it wasn't like table service. It was twenty six dollars and change. Nice. So not like cheap, but way high super high quality for that price point. Uh, last week we went to go eat at this place called Mama Lou's in Garden Grove. Mm-hmm. We met Brandy's parents there. We met her uncles and aunts. Uh, her Oceanside family came up. And uh, it was like this brand new Korean fried chicken place. And the flavors they had, very interesting. Egg yolk. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Which we got. Uh, and then we got the spicy. You crumb. don't like egg. I like egg yolk. I'm weird. Dude. I'm weird. <sighs> I told. Okay. Your sister is making fun of you for the mayo thing. Uh-huh. I'm like, do you know he likes coleslaw? And she was like, what? <laughs> And then I think she just insulted you. Probably. I mean, Probably. That's siblings. But uh, And we got uh, spicy garlic. Spicy garlic and egg yolk. Yeah. But they also had a fish sauce. What? Uh-huh. And Brandy's dad got the fish sauce, loved it. But we got the egg yolk. I thought it was okay. It was good. But it tastes like egg yolk. It's just straight up egg yolk. Uh, that's what it said. Yeah. Well, spicy garlic was great, though. But yeah, yeah it reminded me of that. Dude, that kind and of it's juicy. Yeah. And hot, crispy. It was great. Very, yeah. very filling. And yeah, it's... Decently priced. Yeah. So uh, shout out to I Got My Sound Chicken. At work, we're joking that Jaime named it because that's the type of thing he would say. <laughs> uh, shout out to Jaime who brought, I got to get put in the meat order, but uh, it was a happy birthday to my employee, Sergio. Uh, brought a, he always brings cake for people's birthdays and he always brings tres leches. This was kind of like a tres leches, but it was horchata. Pretty good. Mm. Yeah, Sounds lots good. of there's a lot of cinnamon on it. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty good. So nice. Shout out! It was like Los Los Angelitos Bakery. Sounds great. Yeah, hmm. uh, and they oh, it, I checked their Instagram or their website. Home of the Kobe Conchas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys got to check out uh, the Mercado. You, you'd like it, dude. That's good we stuff. went there on a, well, went there on the worst day on a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, but when am I gonna go, dude? Yeah, it's it's really good stuff. for what. Anything. You name it. They you know what, it. dude? I think I'm ruined. Why? Kimmy was like, what's the last time you were like impressed by something you ate? Hmm. And I was like, I don't know. Your dad's food, probably. Uh, yeah, but it's like a really good steak. I'm saying like, sit down at a restaurant and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Hmm. Like, guys, do it. did I ever, when was the last time? And I'm not picky. I'll eat anything. That's my thing. Yeah. Maybe I think my problem is that I only try new things. Not that I've tasted it all, not even close, but like what's left. I think uh, I told Kimmy this. She was like, oh, you know, like I'm like Alexander wept for there were no more worlds to conquer. <laughs> there were no more flavors to taste. Yeah. Someone help. I will not eat durian, but help me. Help me find. What about Balut? No, I'm not, that's messed up, dude. Yeah, that's weird stuff. No. Right? It's look, we're already killing the animals. Yeah. Stopping them from nah, too much. Too much. But help me out, guys. Give me a give me a restaurant recommendation in the Orange County area. I'm not look, I'm not going to LA. Yeah. It's I know it's not that good. Even Matthew. Matthew, who it's said from, goodbye to Orange County yeah. and said forget it, moved moved to LA and he's kind of like, dude, people here don't know what food is. <laughs> I, you know what? I probably got to go to like a little Saigon or something. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's where I got the, the Korean fried chicken. Yeah. Maybe that's the move. Westminster. Real crowded though. Real yeah. crowded. We'll see. But yeah, help me out, guys. Help me out. Um, I, need, I need some good stuff. Oh, actually, the new Hawaiian place around here looks like Matiki, but you won't die. Mm, nice. It's not on your way, though, so we'll, we'll find a reason to get it. Cool. Yeah. They got the big ribs. Oh, big beef ribs? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Rain, finally, what is your one next bite? At the parks? That's Yeah, that's what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to think. Trying to think. Um, you know when you're going? 
Nope. Don't have a res for a while. I don't know what my next one by my one next by PB and J whiskey shake. Yeah, yeah. Because I said it last. Did I say it last week? I've been saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I you still want me, it. So I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Are you 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 made the res? I made the res before I asked to make sure there were reses. Yeah. Like, do I do it though? A Thursday. It's I, spring break, but like, it's I not wouldn't do it. It's, it's ridiculous right now. It's that bad. I'll think about it. I'll definitely think and about it. And people are like, oh, look, the festival's going on. We got to get the festival food. Well, that's why I'm going. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why I'm here. So, rain. I'm going to Grey Maple Friday, right? And you're seeing a comedian I've never heard of from a... You never heard of David Till? No, and I've never heard of the show. Bumping the mics? I have not had Netflix for five years. It's old. It's him. I'll t- you, I guarantee you know the other guy. They're, they're Watch. Bumping mics, Netflix. Hold on. Because uh, I saw it at Brandy's dad's house. Let me see here. Uh, who's this guy? Jeff Ross. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Dude, who doesn't? Uh, exactly. Roast, Roastmaster General? Exactly. They mm-hmm. have that show. They have the show together. Huh. Okay. So, Rain. I'm going to Gray Maple with the boys, right? Yeah. Shout out Peyton. I'm <laughs> not going to get a salad. Right? This, no. Oh, that's a good cob wedge. No, it's nah, it. it's just, just for it. the salad, dude. Shares. Who knows what we'll get? I don't care. Now, brunch favorites. Don't I, get the modern American. I made the mistake. Yeah. It doesn't seem good. Right? The smoked bacon scramble, I don't know. The Benedicts? Maybe. Honestly, my sister got the French toast logs. I don't want any French toast. At, listen, dude. If my whole meals of the day are salad and French toast, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. All right. French toast, which you get at the hotel when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, so I'm thinking skip. Yeah, skip the breakfast. Skip though. breakfast. So we got the mains, right? There is a 10-ounce New York, but there's a blue cheese vinaigrette with the herbs and the, mm. I don't know, with fries. I don't need that, right? Run, run, run the ribs, dude. I was thinking about the ribs. Yeah, soda pop. So slow braised and grilled half rack, hot honey slaw, and white cheddar biscuit. Yeah, I'd get that. So we have ribs are a contender. Hot honey fried chicken sandwich. Nah, dude. I'm done. Fried chicken sandwiches, I'm done. Yeah? yeah Too I'm big? Now, rib, have you had the ribeye milk? I have. Okay, that was good. very good. Yeah. Uh, but the BLT is calling me. Piled high, thick cut, smoked bacon, lettuce, tomato, aioli on toasted levain, choice of fries. And that's it. Hmm. Simple. The field greens were good. I, I like them. I don't love field greens. I, I, like, romaine. I like salad. Caesar. I have not had the burger. Matthew liked the burger. Vance liked it. Yeah. I know nothing about Vance's tastes. <laughs> <laughs> See, watch us on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that was? Huh. That was uh, Kevin asking Jim if he got fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's, yeah, aged white cheddar, arugula, tomato, pickled red onions. Nope. Aioli. Is that enough? Choice of fries. Like, how good is their meat? Yeah. yeah. What about the falafel wrap? <sighs> no? I love falafel. It just messes me up. It messes a lot of people up. Cauliflower oh, hummus. Right. Why? Just hummus. <laughs> just hummus. <laughs> They're beans, bro. Cauliflower did not ask for this. <laughs> okay? All right. So, basically, so you're saying don't do the fried I chicken. Would I, I would not. Because that's buttermilk fried chicken, cabbage. Because the chicken's good. You know what? You're right. Hot honey aioli. There is something it's there. It's a hot honey aioli, not sticky chicken. Melted white American and cabbage slaw. There is something with that chicken, though. That is good. I made a chicken sandwich at home for my leftovers once from Great oh. People. That was good. Yeah, so I think it's BLT, chicken sandwich, or ribs. What would you go with right now? I think I would. it would depend on the price for me. If ah, the, dude, screw the price. If it's the, the ribs, gas. Like, I'm going to get it. If the ribs are like $45, okay. I'm good. Do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> That's a lot. Which they could be. They very well can be. $45. What's the limit on the ribs then? $34.99? Or yeah. Yeah. Because that rib I melt by itself is like $32. Okay. You're right. The hot honey, 28 bucks. Solid 28 bucks. And it's hot honey aioli, which is very interesting. Yeah. Or the BLT. Are there not prices on the website? No. Really? Hmm. 
I'm gonna say BLT right now. Hmm. But we'll see what happens. You'll see how you're feeling. Yeah, you're. You don't like BLTs because mayo is such a main component, right? I like BLTs with mustard. That's disgusting. It's delicious. It's too. disgusting. Delicious. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> and with that, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. See you real soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for traveling with us today. And we hope you have a happy and memorable visit to the Disneyland Resort. Please lower your head, watch your step, and exit to the driver's right-hand side only.